All right, welcome back to the channel. If you're just joining me for the first time, welcome. I've got a target out here right at 10 yards. Today I have a special guest with me. My wife is going to jo join me today for a casual afternoon of shooting. After some earlier issues with misfires in previous videos, a viewer commented to add plenty of lubrication to ensure the best possible function of these older 25 autos. In the past, I normally use grease. The same type I use my M1 Grand and M1A. Today I didn't bring it with me, so I had to use CLP oil. We did experience a couple of misfeeds on this day, but I'm still convinced it's a magazine issue and not metal-on-metal -metal friction issue with a cycle of function. I've got a half of a box of Remington UMC and a full box of Federal 25 Auto that we will be shooting today. It's been a while since I've done a video on the 25s. My last few videos have really focused on military firearms. My wife cut her teeth, so to speak, shooting larger polymer frame pistols, so we're getting out of her comfort zone a little bit here. You would think that shooting a smaller gun would be easily accomplished, but it does take some adjustment in hand placement and technique, even after shooting something as small as a 380. She had to practice grip a little bit before putting rounds down range, and I had to explain to her off camera that the design of these weapons focuses on concealment and close range, not sight picture and accuracy. Someone prior to me hadn't cleaned up all their brass, so I took the opportunity to have a quick comparison here. In case you've never seen a 25 auto in person, this is a side-by-side -side comparison with the 22 long rifle casings. Aside from the obvious difference in the centerfire and rimfire features, the size isn't much larger. The recoil and power mimic each other. And if you didn't know, the center fire on a 25 is struck in the center of the cartridge case, which is called the primer. The 22 is struck usually on the bottom of the case towards the outside edge. That's in very simple terms. I'm not that familiar with how a rim fire action actually works. So if you don't already know, a quick internet search should answer all your questions.
I didn't do a close-up on the target to finish since this was just a casual day of recreation, but my wife enjoyed it and so did I. Thanks for watching, thanks for coming by, and I'll see you in the next one.